And what was it? A message of Sayyidah Shuhada. Believe me, when I spoke to those guys, they said within a week, we've had 100,000 inquiries. Innovative. That's what it is, right? You guys have the tools. Two kids did that, by the way. They were 21, 22. They took their student loans and their pocket money to put those billboards up. But look at the reward that came out of that. You guys are professionals. You have the brains, you have everything, right? You have people from all walks of life. Why can't we stand up and market Sayyidul Shahada? But no, it's teamwork. In the same way when you go, and this is the final point, and this is what I want to conclude on. It is our responsibility to spread this message of humanity. Imam is for everyone. If you go to the army of Imam Hussein, what do you see? You see people from all over the world there. You see ethnic Christians there. You see ethnic Jews there. You see Africans there. You see East Europeans there. In the army, in those 72 men of Sayyidah Shahada, you see a lot of diversity within that. Imam is saying, therefore, that my movement is for everyone, not just for one person. If you look at the Imam, how many people does he call, right? Few people. You know who one of them is? As he's walking, a Christian lady is standing and she's thirsty. The Imam comes forward to that Christian lady and he says, Lady, are you thirsty? She says, yes. Imam says, okay, let me do something. He hits the ground and water comes out of that. But he says one strange thing. He says, go and tell your son that me, Hussein, is waiting for you. Look at the Imam. He doesn't say to a Muslim, he says to a Christian. Because the message of the Imam is timeless. He's the hujjah of Allah on everyone. So this message needs to be taken to the Western world. When your ancestors went to East Africa, within a generation, the Africans knew about Sayyidul Shuhada. When your ancestors went to India, everyone knew about Sayyidul Shuhada. When your ancestors went to Lebanon, the Christians such as George Yordak began to commemorate Sayyidul Shuhada. Some, <coughs> somebody asked George Yordak, right? They said, you write so much about Amir al muminin Why don't you become a Shia? <coughs> You know what he replies? He says, I don't need to become a Muslim or a Shia. I'm an Alawi. I'm a follower of the principles of Amir al-Mu'mineen. That's timeless. When your ancestors went to Iraq, the Jews of Iraq began to commemorate. So why is it then in the 21st century, 50 years us Muslims have been in the West, and when you go outside, the average person doesn't know about Sayyidul Shahada. The reason being is that we've not done that work that our ancestors have done. We have left the Imam only to the four walls of our Husseinia. Had we taken the Imam out, the world would have known about it and there would have been a revolution in the world in the same way as you find revolutions again. Why? Because Imam is the Imam of the heart. He changes the heart. When tears come, that's an emotion. No one's forcing you to cry. If you go and see Hindus, I've seen Sikhs crying for Sayyidah Shahada. It moves their heart. Don't you think if you took that message? That message in the last four years has gone out only because of these youth who have put billboards up. And I remember in London, you know, it's coming back. I got out of the train, right? I got out of the train. It's walking out and I see a billboard there. And there's a picture of Gandhi. So I thought to myself, you know, this must be some advert for something. So the Hare Krishnas are doing really well nowadays. They've got really nice billboards. And just like me, 50 other idiots stopped to read what it was. And what was it? A message of Sayyidah Shahada. Believe me, when I spoke to those guys, they said within a week, we've had 100,000 inquiries. Innovative. That's what it is, right? You guys have the tools. Two kids did that, by the way. They were 21, 22. They took their student loans and their pocket money to put those billboards up. But look at the reward that came out of that. You guys are professionals. You have the brains. You have everything, right? You have people from all walks of life. Why can't we stand up and market Sayyidul Shahada in the way that these two kids did? If today we're making those billboards and drink water and remember Imam Hussein, it's because of kids. It was their idea. We have enough people here to have a think tank to spread this message, whether it's within universities. And this should be a topic within itself. How we can do tabligh of Imam Hussein, the greatest asset we have.